Hello, welcome everybody, right, to another uh, Facebook Live, another Ferlici Friday. It's been forever since we have been live, and I apologize. July has just like completely flown by, uh, which makes me sad because that means summer is like cruising right along, although we still have lots of time left, so we're not going to get too worked up about that, right? Hi, Vina. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us. So today, ladies, we are going to be playing with well, kind of two of my favorite stamp sets right now, this sketched plaid stamp set. So there, there's the glare gone, right? So, so cute. This is like an awesome background stamp. And I'm going to show you, hi, Susie, welcome. I'm going to show you guys simple, simple um, card making with the sketched plaid stamp set. And then as well, we're going to pair it with the circle sayings stamp set. So this was one that was actually available like way back during the pre-order. And it didn't really strike me at the time, but I have really fallen in love with it as I've been playing with this stamp set. So hello, Teresa. Thanks, ladies, for joining. So great sentiments in the Circle Sayings stamp set, which is like a tongue twister. It's like that she sells seeds. <laughs> I can't even do that, right? So warm welcome. Um, let's see, smile today. You could say, actually, there's a smile and a today. And then because you're awesome, so that's three different stamps. There's a thank you, happy birthday, thinking of you, and sending you a... Um, smile maybe and then there's the little celebrate so you guys can kind of see hi Teresa miss uh, Teresa blue thanks for joining us yeah so okay so you can kind of see and then it also is um, a bundle with the where is that it's over in my tubs we'll show you that later but there's the two and three eighth inch circle punch that of course coordinates like with all these little images too so you can kind of stamp and then it fits right inside that circle punch so we're gonna have lots and lots of fun with these two stamp sets today i can't wait to show you guys some really cute cards hi philomena thanks for joining us um yeah just some really cute 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 cards that we're going to be making today with these two stamp sets so watch out for that in just a little while we got lots to share with you in the meantime though okay i'm going to scoot these over here <clears throat> always in my effort to stay organized right and thank you for sharing the video too, Miss Philomena. I appreciate that. So feel free as you're watching. I love, I love your comments. I love so much to hear from you guys. So please, while you're watching, make sure you comment. Um, tell me what you're up to, how you're doing. If you have any questions, love to hear from you. And then also share the video. I truly appreciate that. That's the best way for um, you to help me, which I truly, truly appreciate, um, getting the word out there about the fun that we have here at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio on our Facebook lives. Um, okay, so let's see. A uh, quick reminder, bonus days. We only have, um, I'm trying to look at my calendar. So today's the 28, 29, 30, 31. We only have four days left of July. Ah, yikes, right? But August, August is a beautiful month too. Um, anyway, so yeah, so four days left for bonus days, right? So you guys all know about this, right? If for every $50 that you order, generally online, you can email me too if you're not comfortable ordering online. I'm happy to help put an order in for you. My email, amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. It's all over the place on all my email, all my postings. Um, but if you're not sure, I can post it right here too. Um, but yeah, email me if you have an order or an order online. Make sure you use the host code um, for that I'll give you in just a little bit. As I'm thinking like, oh yeah, okay, I do have the host codes here. Okay, shoo, all of a sudden I had this moment of panic of like, did I print those off? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so for every $50 that you spend in July, four days left in July, right? You get a $5 bonus day coupon that you can use in August on your August order. So basically it's like a little rebate off of a future order. So that's very cool. Um, but again, only four days left, so keep that in mind. All right, um, let's see, let's see. I think we're gonna jump right in. Let's do our first drawing because I have lots of stuff to show you guys and I'm already like, whoo, okay, it's hot here today. I got my ceiling fan going and I'm like, oh, I need to like find that zen, like calm down, <laughs> which I don't generally do on Facebook Lives, but I'm like, whew, okay, I need another fan or something. I'm already like all heated up. But in the meantime, okay, maybe that's TMI, right? <laughs> okay, so we are gonna draw for, which are we doing? I think it's the Tinsel Gems, the four pack is what we're gonna give away um, on today's Facebook Live. So, and I think these are like unorderable right now. So whoever gets these is getting like an awesome little um, doodad, right? These awesome embellishments that you can't even order right now. So there are, um, underneath there, there's Lemon Lime Twist. I'm gonna say, and I'm totally guessing, but like that's kind of pink, maybe Berry Burst. That might be Misty Moonlight and 
I don't know, garden green, but I don't think so. But anyway, so yellow, pink, blue, and green. How's that? Okay, there. Tinsel Gems 4-pack. Your name is in this drawing right here if you shared the Facebook Live video, if you signed up for my email list, or if you shared the Class to Go kit posts that I've been sharing right here in our Facebook group for the So Refreshing Class to Go. Okay, <clears throat> shaking these around. We'll get one lucky winner here. Okay, let's see who will be our winner today for the Tinsel Gems 4-pack. Let's see, we have one, one, yeah, just one. I'm always worried I have more than one, and then I'm like, ah, what am I gonna do? Miss Philomena, congratulations. You are the winner of the Tinsel Gems 4-pack, so I will get those sent out to you. Congratulations. All right, I'm gonna jump those out. All right, let's scoot this right out of the way. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, that is going to be in two weeks from today. So not the first Friday in August. I think that might be the fourth. So we're going to do it on the 11th. I think that's it. So next two weeks from today, we will be drawing four. I love these two. This is the Tinsel Gems. This is the three pack, basically three colors instead of four colors. Um, do I know these? I'm going to say that's Fresh Freesia. That might actually be Misty Moonlight. And I don't know, it's I maybe Coastal Cabana, but I'm not quite sure. It's, but these are, I love, these are like my colors right here. I love those colors. So again, share this Facebook Live video right here. Sign up for my email list, or there's you still have a chance to share the Class to Go kit post, that so refreshing Class to Go kit post. If you share that, your name will be in the drawing two weeks from today for the Tinsel Gems 3-pack, okay? All right, here, I'm trying to just, you know, stay organized and stay cool. <laughs> I got to stop saying it, right? Maybe that'll, and you're welcome. You're very, so very, very welcome, Miss Philomena. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I know what I want to show you guys. Okay, so we had our team meeting. I guess that was just last week. The weeks are like all blurring together right now. It's been a really fun summer, I have to tell you. I've had lots of like girls weekends planned. Um, so actually last weekend I did a girls weekend with the friends that I do like our girls crafting weekend. Um, one of those girls, her family has a cottage up in Northern Michigan, like near Petoskey area. So we went up there and had like just a, an awesome, awesome girls weekend. Um, there are lots of wineries up there and we just had so much fun kind of tooling around, checking out the area, going to the beach. Um, let's see, another, another friend of mine that does that weekend, she and I went up to Mackinac Island on Monday also. So we've just, oh, it's been like a fabulous summer for sure, spending lots of time with friends and family and getting away and enjoying, especially there's no place better. I will forever say that, especially in my adult life, I truly appreciate now there's no place better than Michigan in the summer. I tell you, like with all the lakes and everything around us, just so many great opportunities for beauty and fun wherever you go basically so okay with all that being said I was like digressing because I'm like oh looking at my calendar and thinking about um life I guess so yeah so um uh team meeting that's what I'm talking about we oh and do I have yes okay so I think I mentioned to online exclusives right so these are products that are not in our annual catalog or they will not be in our new holiday mini catalog. They're things that you can only see online. So basically, if you go to stampinup.com and they've got these banners, you know, that like flash across the screen, I'm pretty sure the very first banner that you see is the online exclusive banner. If you click on that, um, it'll take you to all of the products that are available online only. So a couple of them are, this is the horse and sleigh stamp set. And then these are the horse and sleigh dies, if we get that in the right light, right? So you guys can kind of see. So there is a die that cuts out, right? Like Santa and his, uh, well, I guess it's not Santa, is it? That was my first thought. But no, that's a horse and a sleigh, which makes sense because that's the name of the stamp set, right? So we have sentiments, uh, wishing you a season of cheer and a happy new year and sending warmth your way. And then there's a teeny tiny little joyful right there too. So awesome stamp set, only available online. Wonderful set of dies that will cut images out. And then there are some other accent images. Sorry, they're kind of like all over the place in there, aren't they? Only available online. And then also this package of, this is called the One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series Paper. So you can see, <laughs> this is my mess of paper from the paper pack. It's six by six paper, 48 sheets, 12 different sheets, and then four of each of those. 
I'm gonna pull, so just so you guys know organizationally, people are always kind of curious about that sort of thing, right? So I just keep all of my designer series paper in the packs they come in, and then my full sheets are in the back, and then any, anything I've cut, like, you know, partial sheets are kind of in the front there. So I like to do that, keep it all together, so then I know what's what colors are in there, right? Because they tell you all the colors in very tiny print right back there, all the colors um, that are um, in, that are used in the designer series paper and then also the name of the paper pack. So I'll just flash through because I don't have, this will give you an idea, right? So there's front and back of that one. I've used a bunch of them, so I don't have, so a lot of them have like these scenes, like, ooh, look at that cute little deer there, right? And then um, just kind of more <clears throat> simple patterns on the other side. So that one's beautiful too, right? And then kind of a wood grain pattern. How about this one, like in the pasture? with the fence and then the pretty red. Um, ooh, this one's like a fox right there. And then wood grain pattern right there. Oops, that one's flying away. Some more snow covered trees. And then another cool pattern there. That's the same one. Oh, this is cool. How about that one, right? Um, you guys can kind of see little chalets in the woods and then another pretty red. Have I shown? I know I'm feeling like maybe I'm repeating, but no, we haven't seen this one yet. This one's cool, isn't it? The lights there and then that background. I think some of the backgrounds look similar, so they're kind of throwing me. This one looks like they took a picture from way up high in the trees, right? And then that one right there. And then I think that one. So you get a pretty good idea. That might not even be all of them, but you kind of, you get the idea of what the paper looks like. And it's beautiful. So again, online only, online exclusive. So we used all of these products in our make and takes, and I used them in my mystery project too for our team meeting that we had last week. So I wanna show you guys, these are, ooh, and I don't have, let's see where, are, I'm gonna grab those, hold on, because when they go, we also used, let's see, there you guys can kinda of see, these are the Adhesive Blacked Snowflake Assortment. So these are the large, so copper, gold, oops, and white. It's my fan, right? Copper, gold, and you can kind of see the white right there. So those are the large ones, and then there are also some smaller ones too, so you guys can see those again. So the white, gold, and copper, actually small, medium, and large, it looks like. So beautiful set of like snowflakes. They have, um, um, what are they called? Mini glue dots. They have mini glue dots on the back of them, so they're very easy to um, adhere to things. You don't need any extra adhesive. I'm trying to get those back in there. They're kind of not. They're not really delicate, but I just don't want to lose them because they're very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get those set out of the way. So yes, as I was about ready to show you the make and takes, I'm like, oh, we have snowflakes on here too. Uh, oh, awesome, you got all of your cards done. Very cool, Susie, I'm glad that you enjoyed those. So here is one of our make and takes right there again with those copper snowflakes. This is just designer series paper, right? With a couple of snowflakes and then the sentiment, right? Sending warmth your way. And then this is kind of a cool, check that out, right? Look at, so that's how you sew that and that and then that kind of, so it's, I don't know, whatever you call that, but it's kind of a cool fold, right? So I forgot about that. I'm like, oh, you'll probably be seeing that on Facebook Live. I'll show you guys how to make that um, card sometime soon. I have, I'm not promising because I keep, well, I forgot actually, because I had it tucked away to show you guys these make and takes. And then I have another little spot where I put like card layout ideas for Facebook Live. So that's gonna go in there next, basically. So here's another. One, you can see that wood grain paper, we used the white snowflakes and we put some rhinestones on them to kind of make them pop off the page. And then um, this, I'm getting this text. I'm like, oh, some help, self-help code. Yikes, I'm not doing anything with that right now. So that's kind of freaking me out, but hopefully no one's like using my account information anyhow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna just not even worry about it right now. Uh, then there's this one right here, the season of cheer. You can kind of see that glittered organdy ribbon there too with some of those white snowflakes um nothing on the inside of that one either i was trying to let me just make sure okay and then this one wishing you a season of cheer isn't that pretty again with more of that glittered organdy ribbon and this one we just we just put some rhinestones on and then that one opens right there yes thank you philomena i know they were beautiful cards this month weren't they okay and then this one so those were the make and takes and then I do a mystery project basically kind of 
giving um, like card layout, like, you know, cut your, <laughs> although that was like an epic fail this month, I, I, I put cutting and scoring information for the card base and I put the scoring information on the wrong side anyway. So I was like, oh shoot, like <laughs> people came to make their mystery projects while I'm making mine and like it, it wasn't quite, <laughs> didn't go quite the way I had hoped. So it happens sometimes. Anyway, but this was the mystery project that I made. Um, so again, I kind of give all the dimensions and everything that you need, and then they just grab whatever they have in their craft room and bring it and put it together as I'm putting my mystery project together. So this just kind of slips off right there. <clears throat> and then this is kind of cool, right? So it opens there and then there and there, and then we put more designer series paper. So again, this is more pretty paper from that one horse open sleigh designer series paper pack. And I also like to send cards to my top five sellers for the month. So this was, again, using the circle sayings that smile today because you're awesome. Um, I used uh, that little stamp set and then that countryside corners, I think, designer series paper um, on that top five card. So my top five sellers for the month, of, like last month for June, got these cards in the mail as a little congratulations as well. And I did, now I'm trying to remember, I always um, send out uh, embellishments, ribbon, that sort of thing. I do what's called the $600 club and I'm trying to remember what I even gave. It might have been... I don't know, I'm a good example. I can't say that this is what they actually got, but maybe that Tinsel Gems three pack that we're giving away on our next Facebook Live, this would be an example of something that I might give away in the um, $600 club prize genre. Um, basically that means if they have sales of $600 or more in a month, they get a cute little embellishment or a ribbon or something um, from, from me as a congratulations for making it into the $600 club. And I like to always make sure to highlight that kind of threshold or that dollar amount because if you have um, $600 or more in sales in a month, Stampin' Up! also rewards you with extra commission. They pop that right into your bank account the beginning of the following month after they determine that you've had more than $600 in sales. So it's like a thing I like to help make sure everybody's aware of, especially if somebody has like sales of $550, get another $50 order, pop that in because you're going to get free money from Stampin' Up! If you, you know, if you're that close, right? So, okay. Um... Oh, swaps too. Okay, let me scoot. I'm trying to, you know, as always, keep, move stuff out of the way after I show you guys so I'm not confusing myself. Okay, so we also do swapping at our team meeting. Lots of great reasons to join the Inkspired Stampers team. Make and take, super cute. If you're long distance, I'll mail them to you. We do Facebook Lives for our team meetings, so you guys get to be a part of all of that. We have that separate Facebook group for more kind of um, demonstrator only sharing. Um, and then we do swapping too. And it was awesome because I had a number of gals that are long distance that actually created swaps, mailed them into me. We swap them out at the meeting and I mail them back to them. So this is an example of one of our swaps. This was from Nancy Gulick featuring that, I think it's called Inked Botanicals Designer Series Paper. And then this one I think was Jenny. Yep, this was Jenny Boffman's card. And look, at, I love kind of that layout too. Again, with that countryside corners, maybe designer series paper. This is a super cute one from Sunday with the little monkeys, right? What does it say? Just swinging by to say hi, right? Super duper cute. This one was from Susie, who's watching with us right now, Miss Susie Meekumber, created this one again with that awesome designer series. Those blues are so pretty, right? That designer series paper. This was Beth Martin's swap. She actually made her paper pumpkin kit cards. So, so cute. I'm gonna show you actually. So here's the little coordinating envelope, and then here is the card, kind of like a little stair step, right? You can kind of see from the angle there too, right? So, so cute, huh? And then Teresa Hinchman created this. This is like a note card, note card size card, and isn't that so cute? And I actually just got that stamp set, so I'm excited. I think it's called Darling Details. Very excited to play with that one. This one was Jamie Sanders card and I love her kind of red, white, and blue theme. I'm thinking like kind of for um, 4th of July, right? So that's so much love with the hearts on there too. 
And then this one is from Jen Ludley. She's a new team member underneath Miss Jamie. And she created this beautiful swap card. And I love the lantern and the fireflies. So cute. I'm like, oh, I might need that stamp set. And then this one was Charlene Mogg. Uh, she created this was, I think, last month's. Oops, and that's kind of slipped inside there. Last month's paper pumpkin kit right here, right? So we've got this. Um, enjoy your day. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Thanks for joining joining us. Yeah, so this beautiful kind of, um, I don't know, ocean inspired, right? Beach inspired card and then the matching envelope too. So super cute swaps. You guys are missing out if you're not a part of our group. Starter kit deal, um, regular deal right now, still an awesome deal though. So pick $125 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax. That shipping fee is waived. So if you're interested, let me know. I definitely can get you more information on becoming an Inkspired Stampers team member. And then I have to share this with you guys because I loved, okay, so this was a card that I received from a friend of mine, Sheila Bittler. So she actually um, kind of lived in this area, like not too far away from me, maybe 30 or 45 minutes um, in Michigan. And a couple years ago, she and her family relocated down to Florida. And so she sent me this card and this is, I appreciate so much that you were able and willing to be there for me. And thank you so much for staying in touch. And she kind of goes on to talk about her life now, but I won't share all those details. But I was just, I was like so touching. And like, guys, this is why we make these cards right here, right? To share them with others, kind of to bring people together, to craft together, to make cute things that help us feel good. And then to share, send and share them with others. And like, you don't even necessarily realize how you're touching people's lives. So I've heard so many stories like that lately. So keep that in mind. You know, you're kind of thinking like I am anyway, I'm just playing with cute stuff, right? But like, there's a lot more to it than that. So just kind of remember that and share it with others too. If you think there's anyone that you know that, you know, needs a little pick me up, needs a little something fresh and fun in their lives, paper crafting, card making, scrapbooking might be their thing. You never know, right? So something to think about, right? Okay, um, got to check my notes and I need a quick sip of water too. So hold on one moment, please. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm having a hard time, like, so these are my little notes, right? If you can, <laughs> so I'm having a hard time, like, reading my writing these days. My eyes are definitely getting worse, but okay, I think... We are ready. I just wanted to make sure because I felt like I skipped something, but I think we're good. Um, oh, one other thing before I kind of move on. I just want to mention because there's been lots of sharing. So we're doing the super summer giveaway. Um, it's kind of a thing that I do. I've done it for many summers in a row now. But one of the best and kind of easiest ways is to share pictures of projects that you've made right here on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. So whatever you're working on, we love to see what you're working on, right? Just post it right on here. You don't even have to say anything about it. Just share your picture. Let us see what you're up to. There's no like, ooh, level of quality. Like, oh, my cards aren't good enough to be posted. That sort of thing. Everyone's cards are worthy of being posted right here. We love to see what you're doing. When you do that, make sure you use the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway because what's going to happen is at the end of August, I'm going to do a search for anyone that posted using that hashtag and your name is going to go in the Super Summer Giveaway drawing. You get two entries for every single project that you post on our Facebook group right here. So I've been seeing lots of sharing, which I truly appreciate and I want more sharing, right? Because it's just so fun to see what others are doing. So keep that in mind. You also get entries in the drawing for coming to events, ordering through me, um, signing up for paper pumpkin, in color club, scrapbook club, simple beautiful card club. Um, do I, I don't even have my list here, right? If you buy the starter kit, um, is that it? If you want to host a private party or class, I think that's all of them. Yeah. So anyway, lots of ways to get your name entered in the drawing. We will do the drawing in September after summer is over. Don't even say it though, right? Okay. So um, I want to mention, so this is um, like, it's kind of been on my mind for a while lately. So, um, and I don't really share, like I'm not a, I'm not a huge share of like personal things. I don't, I guess I'm not just not totally like comfortable with that, but I, well, I'm like, okay, since it's been on my mind and I've been trying to figure out, I want to do something basically to honor my mom who passed away 
almost 20 years ago, which for me is almost nearly impossible to believe, but August 8th of this year, so 8-8-2023, will be 20 years since she passed away. Um, she um, had a great life up until the very end. I would say she ended up getting breast cancer just before I was getting married. So she literally had a mastectomy. And then like a month later, I got married. And so it was a pretty emotional time for us. Um, she went through that whole treatment. Two years later, she got breast cancer on the other side, so she had to go through another mastectomy. Um, I think about that now. I'm like, I didn't fully comprehend like everything that she was going through, what all that really meant for her. And I, it's like, you know, you kind of like, maybe wish you had done things a little bit differently or I don't know, understood, been... Uh, maybe, yeah, just understood more what she was going through. So anyway, not to kind of bring everybody down, but I'm just trying to kind of share her story because then actually two years after that, so kind of in a span of like four years, she ended up getting cancer. We didn't realize that's what it was. It started in her neck and it went into her brain. Really hard to see. It was like these thin sheets of cancer. So um, the first doctor didn't even see it on her scans. And so it was a whole thing, but she went through a ton in her last few years of her life. She was so courageous. So um, she just did it. She just dealt with it. She loved to play golf. She would go have chemo. And if she felt well enough, she would go out on the golf course and play golf. She was not going to let anything stop her. And she fought as hard as she could, as long as she could, but cancer like had her number basically um, and wouldn't give up as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, I'm telling you all of this because I've decided it to honor her again, 20 years, right? Since she passed away, I want to do a fundraiser and this is what, this is how it's going to work. So any orders that you place between now and our next Facebook live, which is on August 11th, I'm going to donate 20% of the proceeds. I've decided I want to do a local fund. It's called the Party Cancer Fund. It's basically um, a fund that was founded by, her name is Elsa Pardee, and she was diagnosed with cancer way back in 1944, which is right about the time my mom was born. Um, her kind of mission was to provide for others the benefits of scientific knowledge and skill yet undiscovered and hence not available to herself. So her idea, you know, after she got breast cancer way back in 1944, which things were way, I can't even imagine. Like I know even with my mom back in 1999 when it first started, how different things are now versus even then, right? So 1944, crazy. Hi, Robin. Welcome, welcome. So anyway, yes. Yeah, so I've decided I want to donate to this fund in my mom's name. So again, 20% of every sale that I have between now and August 11th. I'm excited. I want to write a huge check, right? So if I sell $100, I'm going to write a $20 check. If I sell $1,000, we're going to write a $200 check. So 20% of everything that I sell from now until August 11th, I'm going to donate again to the Party Cancer Treatment Fund. The idea is this woman, again, Elsa Party, started this foundation um, to help others be able to pay for cancer treatments. Like we all know, I mean, cancer is that awful C word. It costs a lot of money to be able to go through those treatments and not everyone is able to afford those treatments. So I thought how cool to kind of keep it local. They do also donate to cancer research, but the, I think the primary focus is helping people, local people in our Gratiot County where my mom lived, not for her whole life, but for a significant portion of her life. And I'm just excited to be able to make that donation back in her name. So um, I just wanted you guys to know um, that I'm doing that. I want to, oh, actually, I forgot I was going to show a picture of my mom too. Um, so, and I, so this was actually a scrapbook that I made, um, one for myself and one for my sister after my mom passed away, just to kind of remember her, um, you know, kind of back in those times even, which isn't that long ago, right? We didn't have pictures the way that we do now. So I found every picture that I had of her and made a little scrapbook for, again, both myself and my sister. Um, and this is one of the pictures. Um, I've got to get that glare out there. So this is my mom, Mary, and then my dad, Denny. Um, and this was a picture taken. They um, lived out in Arizona for a portion of their lives. And so this was at one of their favorite, it's actually an Italian restaurant. Oh, you think my 
Mexican, right? But it's an Italian restaurant out in Arizona. And I love, I was kind of collecting um, stamp sets too. So this one actually says, um, we meet no ordinary people in our lives. And I love that because mom was, she was not ordinary. She was um simple and easy to get along with and loved everyone and was very giving and sharing um, but she was definitely not an ordinary person right and then i love this so over here i have this little sentiment also so i have to read this one too and then we're going to move on before i get like all teary-eyed right okay so those whom we have loved never really leave us they live on forever in our hearts and cast their radiant light on our every shadow. And I love that sentiment also. So there are lots of other great pictures in here. I want, I, what I think I'm gonna do is actually take pictures of the book and share them with you guys um, throughout the next few weeks, um, just to kind of share a little bit about my mom too, because she was a great lady and we miss her a ton, but um, you know, that's life, right? So, okay, um, I think, are we? I think we're ready. Okay, so I actually, and kind of in conjunction with that, um, July was a slow month. I actually didn't ha I haven't had any online orders for like the whole month. So you guys clearly are not um, taking advantage of the bonus day coupon. So keep that in mind, right? So I don't have, I'm not doing a drawing because I don't have any names to put in the drawing for the um, stamp set I was gonna give away. But I will tell you, so kind of in conjunction with all of this, right? 20% of everything that I sell is going to be donated to the, to the Party Cancer Treatment Fund. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win. And this stamp set reminds me of my mom, too. She was kind of an earthy lady. Um, she loved lots of earth tones. She she always had a really beautiful complexion. And I remember, um, you know, back in those days, you got like your colors done or something. So she had all those kind of warm, earthy tones in terms of like um, what she wore, I guess. And this reminds me of her, too, that earthy the kind of feel also. So this stamp set I picked kind of in honor of her also. So this is what I'll give away on our next Facebook Live two weeks from today. Hi, Pam. Welcome, welcome. So great sentiments in here. We have a thank you. You always know just what to say and do. Your thoughtfulness is much appreciated with gratitude and you are proof there is good in the world. Okay, so that's the stamp set you'll get your name in the drawing for. You also get to pick from, and I'm going to kind of give you a preview already because I figure even, well, you can either get the July Demo Design Dream Team or the August Demo Design Dream Team, I guess, depending on which month you order in. This is my cute little project from the August Demo Design Dream Team because I just love those little birdies. I couldn't stop playing with them. So that's my project that is in the August Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial that you can get for free with your $50 order also. So does that all make sense, right? So we've got, well, we've got bonus day coupons, $5 off your $50 order. You get to pick from a free embellishment or a PDF tutorial. Your name goes in the earth and textures drawing and then I'm going to donate 20% of proceeds. Plus, it gets even better. I'm going to give everybody a sample of, this is the Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series paper. And I think I used this a couple weeks ago on um, Facebook Live, but I just want to flash these up here real quick because I think they're so cute. I love this. So everybody's going to get, you're not going to get full 12 by 12, 6 by 6 sheets of this Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series paper you can get as well with your $50 order through me. So lots of good stuff, again, to honor my mom, Mary, um, and say thank you for your orders. Okay, so there's that one. We have 12, those are, it's like, okay, I'm an accountant, so this is like grid paper for me, <laughs> like ledger. It's like ledger paper, which we don't even really have anymore, right? I do remember when I first, my first CPA job, we did have ledger paper though, we did definitely use that, so that takes me back, right? Kids are like, we don't even, that's like archaic, mom, right? Wouldn't they say now, right? So such cute, I love, look at, oh, this is one of my favorite patterns, the little tulips, and those little polka dots, and then we've got some stripes and some pretzels <laughs> to round it out there. Okay, so yes, lots and lots and lots of good stuff there. Um, okay, I think we are ready. We are gonna flip the camera down. I gotta move all this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to make some cards for you now, okay? All right, hold one moment here. Let's just get all this stuff cleaned up. Okay, 
turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. I am going to show you our host code for July, or I'm sorry, for August already. Um, so go ahead and use this host code. I'll get it posted on my blog. Uh, so this UUXQTP2Y is the host code you'll want to use to order to get all of the awesome benefits um, from Facebook Live. And again, that donation that I'll put in my mom's name as well. Hmm. Okay, so I want to just do a quick reminder about my class to go. So this is the so refreshing class to go. Actually, let's get that out of the way, right? Okay, so these four cards, you can make two of each of them in the class to go. Um, do I have those details? I do. I just have to like jump over a couple things <laughs> to get to my details. So today is the last day. Where is it? There it is. Okay. All right. So today is the last day to order this so refreshing class to go. Again, you get to make two of each of these projects. They feature the so refreshing stamp set and dies. So option number one includes the stamp set and dies. It also includes a pack of the Tinsel Gems three pack, the linen thread and the Brights designer series paper. Okay. So option number one, actually you get the linen thread for free, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put the projects together. Option number one is $93. Option number two includes the gems, DSP, twine, PDF tutorial, all the parts and pieces here, not the stamp set and dies because you're want, gonna want to order those. Um, well, either maybe you have them, right? Or if you're a demonstrator, you're gonna order them through your own demo ID. Oh yay, your stamps and dies are arriving today. Yay, that's awesome, Robin. You're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> yes, you will. Okay, so option number two is $40. Um, option number one and option number two, ship for an additional $10 if you need them shipped. That's priority mail shipping to you. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put everything together. You're gonna do it on your own. That's $15, always available, even after the RSVP deadline passes. My downline, any of my Inkspired stampers can get that tutorial for free. They can also get the make and takes in option number four for $15. They're going to get all the parts and pieces, everything they need. They need their stamps and dies to do their own stamping and die cutting. Um, but everything else I send to them. Uh, and so again, RSVPs are due today. So if you're interested, let me know because I'd be happy to get one of those class to go kits sent out to you. Okay, I'm going to scoot that stuff out of the way. I am going to find my grid paper. There we go. Let's see. Let me pull. This is we're going to do this one first here. Okay. Just realized I moved stuff away that I didn't want to move. Okay, so here is our first project. I can't decide if I need my glasses on or take them off. And I think they need to come on. Okay, so I can see what I'm doing here, right? Okay, uh, and you know what else I want to do? It's like everything's always a little crooked, but let's make sure we're in view here, right? Okay, there we go. So super cute, just a pretty, pretty, pretty card here, right? Again, with that sketched plaid stamp and then also the circle sayings stamp there as well with the beautiful ribbon right and then lots uh, not lots but some die cutting there too okay so again circled plaid stamp or sketched plaid stamp set circle sayings stamp set are what we're using okay um let's see we're gonna get everything out here so here this is the stamp you get your big clear block and then you just put your background stamp right on there, okay? All right, let's see. We're gonna do a little bit of coloring. We've got lots and lots of fun to be had here, right? I'm trying to get everything pulled out for you guys, okay? So we are going to start our card. Did I, well, you guys are gonna get the idea, right? We'll scoot that out of the way, okay? All right, so we have, this is our thick white cardstock card base, right? So along the 11 inch side, we're gonna cut it in half. So 11 divided by two, five and a half, cutting it in five and a half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we're gonna score it in half at four and a quarter, okay? 
So we've got that right there like that. Then we're gonna add our bubble bath cardstock right here, measuring four by five and a quarter. This is the one that we're gonna stamp with our sketched plaid stamp set. And then basically I have pieces, like scrap pieces, right? Of basic white and lemon lolly to do our stamping and die cutting on there, okay? So let's see, let's do our stamping first. I'm gonna show you, since I don't have too much out here, right? We're gonna do this one first, okay? So we are going to ink up our background stamp. So we have bubble bath ink and bubble bath cardstock. And let's see, we're gonna lay our stamp just down like this. And this one is easiest to just ink it right up like on its back, right? Like lay the stamp right down, ink all over. And I think it's easiest to just take your cardstock, lay it down. That looks like it might be a little crooked, but I'm not that worried about it. And then I just grab like a scrap piece of paper. This is their old Stamparatus grid paper. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of transfer all of the ink on my stamp over to my cardstock. And then there we go. Isn't that, look at how cute that is. I think baby too. This pretty pink is like a baby girl pink, right? So you could have some fun making little baby cards as well, I think. Okay, so we've got that one. Actually, I don't even need that, so I'm going to scoot. I don't think I need it anymore. I'm going to scoot that one out of the way. Okay, um, we are also going to clean this background stamp. We're going to do that right now before I forget because we're going to use this again on our next card in a moment. So I'm going to kind of lift this up and get that all cleaned off. Okay, all right, so that looks good there. There, that will help me with our next one. Okay, so now what else do we need to do in terms of stamping? Let's grab this stuff back in, right? Okay, so on here we are going to stamp. Uh, you know what? I actually used Misty Moonlight ink too, didn't I? So I had bingo last night here in town and I think I needed that Misty Moonlight ink. So we're gonna, this is Night of Navy. Sorry, I'm like totally talking to myself. So we're gonna use Night of Navy ink to do our little celebrate in our circles. And I'm gonna use this one to stamp that little cupcake. But I like the little bit lighter. That's really kind of dark. And if you see on here, it's a little bit lighter. I wanna find my Misty Moonlight ink pad, which is still buried. <laughs> Oh, here, I thought I was going to get so lucky. I think, anyway. Well, I thought it was right here. There it is. Okay. There. Whew. Okay. Misty Moonlight Ink. We're going to use this one right here for our little cupcake. Okay. There we go. Okay. So you can see, you can kind of tell, I think. Maybe it fades a little bit over time. I'm not sure. But this one, to me... Can you guys tell? Misty Moonlight, a little bit lighter. Misty Moonlight here, a night of navy here, a little bit lighter. Okay, so we are going to, yeah, all my notes that told me that I needed all these things for Facebook Live, I think I just skipped right over that. Okay, so okay. circle punch, here we go. Let's see, I'm going to use Good thing everything is right here. So we're gonna use our two and three eighth inch circle punch, which is the one that coordinates perfectly with this stamp set. So we're gonna punch that out right there, okay? Then we are gonna do, let's do our coloring and then we're gonna do our die cutting on these two, okay? So here we go. We are going to start with our lemon lolly. Actually, is it lemon lolly? Nope, I used light daffodil delight because I don't think I even have lemon lolly yet. But I like white cake instead of chocolate cake. So I decided our little cupcake needed to be white, like white cake. So we used Daffodil Delight, which looks a lot like Lemon Lolly, I think. Then we have some pink frosting, bubble bath pink is what we're gonna use. So we're gonna just kind of uh, work around the edges right here, okay? So we're kind of coloring that in, and then I'm gonna flip and use my larger end. 
kind of a fatter brush tip there to kind of color all that in. So there's my bubble bath. And then we're going to finish with, and I actually tried, I ended up using Night of Navy. I have the Misty Moonlight and somehow even that light one seemed darker to me, which seems kind of crazy. I don't know, maybe I was on drugs, but that's what it felt like. So I went with the light Night of Navy. And this is a trick right here, ladies, to not have my nose right down in there. <laughs> I think I'm doing a pretty good job, though. I'm going to totally jinx myself by saying that, though. Okay, so we're just coloring. I have been doing a lot of coloring lately, and it's making me want to order, like, all. <laughs> like, seriously, all of the blends. Um, so on my next order, I might be doing that. Actually, with, to get more bonus day coupons, right, I might as well order them in July. And then I have my $5 coupons to use on other fun stuff next month in August. Okay, so if you can see, there is... There we go, right? Okay. Um, okay, so now, mm, 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 since I'm already like kind of in the mode here, there's no dye for this, right? So here we go. We're going to use our little paper snips. And I think it's easiest if I like to kind of snip right up. And that one got a little bit close there. But we're going to kind of just move. I think it's easiest if you kind of just... Um, Instead of, I think it's kind of moving your scissors, but it's also kind of in conjunction, moving the paper a, kind of against your scissors, for me, is the easiest way to do this fussy cutting, right? And it's funny because like this one especially, that really didn't take me much time at all. By the time you get everything all set up on your die cutting machine, you probably could have cut that out, right? So there we go. There's our little, now I can't lose that, right? I gotta make sure to, uh, you know what we're gonna do? This will help me so I don't lose it. It's on dimensionals, so I'm gonna pop a couple dimensionals on that, and that'll help me keep track of it, right? <laughs> I'm hoping anyway. Okay, also, let's see. We're gonna get these stamps out of the way. So cute though, right? Like I love that little, um, that little cupcake and a little celebrate, right? So you could, this could even be like a baby shower card, really, now that I'm thinking about it, right? The pinks or the blues, right? If you're not sure if it's a boy or a girl, it could be a little celebrate because they a lot of times they have cupcakes and baby showers too, right? Okay, talking you right into it, right? Okay, now we need our die cutting machine. Where are my plates here? Okay, where we go? All right, so we are going to, let's see, I probably have to do these separately, don't I, right? Okay, so we're radiating stitches dies, another online exclusive, still available. Love, 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 love these dies. We're going to use that rectangle right there. Okay, we're going to put this on our lemon lolly cardstock. Okay, crank this baby through. And then we're going to cut one more. Okay, so that one is right there. You guys see the stitches on there? Aren't those love, 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 low stitches, right? Okay, and then we're also going to use, whoops, I pulled that one out too, scalloped contour dies. One of my all-time favorites. We're going to use that scallopy edge. Oop, right there. I'm too busy looking at it. This, love that little border edge. Haven't used that one in a little while, so that's probably going to have to make it back in the rotation sometime soon too. Okay, so we've got our basic white card stock, and we're going to run this guy through, okay? All right, and love these little scallops on here, too. Right, oh, it's so cute. Definitely seems baby-ish to me. Okay, all right, we're going to scoot all of this stuff. That is going to fall, isn't it? So i got to crank that back in there. There we go. All right, I'm going to scoot that out of the way. All right, I think, I feel like everything's like scattered all over, but pretty sure we are ready to put our card together. So we're going to add this bubble bath card stock that we stamped with our sketched plaid stamps. So we're going to scoot that over a little bit, right? We're going to add this guy right on there okay next we're going to put 
this piece, run it and tip it back, right? That's how we use our adhesive. We're gonna add this piece. I'm gonna scoot that down so I can see what I'm doing. You guys can still see too, right? So the stitching just kind of shows around the edges there, right? So you can just kind of see the stitching on, or stitching on those. Okay, we're gonna add glue dots behind this guy right here. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. I know I'm kind of loving this color combination too. I think it's the new colors too. It's just, you know, it's fun playing with new stuff basically, right? So our new bubble bath and lemon lolly colors. They've been a great addition. Oops, and then I just did that as, as I was laying it down. I'm like, oh, that's right. Let's see if we can get this lifted. Okay. I think we're going to be able to do that. Okay, so I'm going to kind of put that underneath there because I meant to tie this bow. We're going to do it this way. It seems like when I turn my card upside down, it works out better for me. Then the bow is the way I need it to be which seems kind of funny, doesn't it? Um, we'll see, I, I could be wrong, right? It might not end up working out, but it's kind of looking like it's going to, right? Okay, and I pulled that the wrong way. It's like upside down trying to figure out where, but I don't want it to stick. So I think, and I like to kind of curl that a little bit, then you can kind of slide things over a little bit more if you need to. So, all right, there we go. I think that's good enough, right? There, and we need our other scissors. We are gonna just trim that off. So yeah, I don't know if that didn't quite work the way I <laughs> thought it might, but that's gonna be all right like that, right? There, there, we have to trim that end. That end's kind of fraying a little bit there, isn't it? Let's trim that one down a little bit now too. There we go, okay, now we're good. All right, and then we are gonna add some adhesive behind our celebrate circle and we're gonna add that one and I liked to try to kind of line up that dot so it's right in the middle of everything and then we're gonna peel these little babies off oops and put our little cupcake right there and then lastly let me see, maybe those little dots. So can you guys see these little dots right here? Um, those I need, they must be in, I think I used them on the other card too. So let me grab, hopefully they're right here. Mm -hmm. They should then, or did I pull them out and I'm just not seeing them? Hold on, okay, aha, here we go. <laughs> I'm like glasses on, glasses off, here we go. So these little babies in Copper Clay, Boho Blue, and Lemon Lolly. I'm glad you guys are liking this one. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to just add a couple of these teeny weeny. I'm going to put some little like lemon sprinkles on our cupcake. Right? One there, and then one more. Right about there. Okay. There we go, card number one is done, right? The little celebrate with the cute little cupcakes. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so there's your first project. Next, let me show you what else we came up with. This is another um, pretty, pretty colors in this card too, right? So more lemon lolly, and then we have pool party, and then this, and now I'm trying to remember, which one did I end up? Well, it's from this designer series paper pack, the bright and beautiful, and so it is lemon lime twist, is this designer series paper. And then actually this is lemon lime twist, designer series paper from the Brights DSP also with the little thank you on there. So let me show you that one as well. Oops, and I do need, I wasn't sure if I needed that circle punch again, but I do, so I'm gonna bring that right back into view. Okay, these, these, got some ink going. All right, so let me tell you guys about this one again. We are using, I liked for both of these cards to stamp 
on a piece of colored cardstock, so in this case, Lemon Lolly cardstock with Lemon Lolly ink, but put it onto the white card base. I just really liked, I think it really helped it kind of pop off the page. Okay, so again, our thick basic white cardstock along the 11 inch side, cut it at five and a half inches along the eight and a half inch side, score it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's your card base, right? Then again, uh, this time five and a quarter by four inches, lemon lolly layer right there. And then I think everything else is for stamping and die cutting. So pool party, this is that bright and beautiful designer series paper, the brights designer series paper also in lemon lime twist and basic white cardstock there, okay? So again, let's do our stamping with our background stamp. I think that's kind of good to get that one done, okay? So we're inking this baby up. Again, I'm gonna leave that open because we do need that one again, okay? So we're gonna lay this down. I'm trying to get it straight and I guess I'm just not that good at it, but it really wasn't even a problem. Um, I think it's supposed to almost look a little like maybe off-centered, right? And so just be careful that you're not moving, like have kind of a steady hand on there, right? So you're not moving the cardstock around, right? And then we're gonna kind of just lift that up. But ha, ah, isn't that so? I just love plaid. I love plaid. So cute there, right? Okay. So let's bring our card back in so we know what else we're doing. We, we're gonna do that in a little bit actually. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose those. So those are both for die cutting. So we basically just need to stamp this guy. So we've got our lemon lolly. We're gonna do our flowers, okay. Stamp that one right there. And then we're gonna use our lemon lime twist ink. And we're gonna say, thank you. Let me put that one right about there, okay? So there, we got our stamping done, okay? Those guys. All right, let's punch. Where's our circle punch? Let's just do this. And we'll have this one all ready to go. I wondered if that was gonna be, it's almost, I think, um, a little bit too thick there. My, uh, there we go. Okay, can you guys see? <laughs> yeah, a little bit too big that piece of cardstock was, okay? But we've got that one, okay? All right, I think, scoot that there. That's gonna go, okay, we're gonna do some die cutting now, right? We gotta do these guys and then that stitched circle. We'll come back and do those punches in a little bit because I don't wanna lose them. I'm very concerned about losing those punches. Okay, so let me grab the die cutting machine again, okay? All right, cranking this one back here. All right, we've got this one here. And then I'm pretty sure, man, I used a lot of the same stuff last night. So let's put this right here. We're gonna try to do both of these. I need to find my stylish shapes dies with that stitched circle, hopefully. They're right here. Yeah, so Bingo used so many of these, <laughs> the same things. Now, which one is this? Let's make sure we have the right size. Yep, that one right there. Okay, so that is the second largest circle in those stylish shapes dies, okay? All right, so we've got both of those on there. Oops. I crank this through, and then we gotta do one more crank through here with this die, which, ooh, did I even mention that? These are the countryside corners dies, okay? So we've got kind of a hodgepodge there, but you kind of get the idea, right? So uh, that looks like the third largest in that one, okay? All right, so we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna crank through on our Lemon Lime Twist Designer Series paper, and then I think we are ready to put our card together. Okay. All right, let's scoot. Let's get this guy right out of the way. Okay. Oops. There we go. All right, ladies, bring our card back into view so you can see what we're doing here. Oops, sorry, did I just hit that? I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to.
trying to wipe the sweat from my forehead. <laughs> is that something you guys really wanted to know about right now, huh? <laughs> it is hot in here. I think because I just get all excited about my Facebook Lives too. Okay, so we're running it and tipping it back all along there. We are going to add, let's do this way, I think. Yep, there, we're gonna add that piece right on there. Next, we are gonna add some more adhesive on our Countryside Corner label dies. Okay, so we've got this first one can go right about there. And that second one. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm doing it to myself again, you guys. Okay, whew, all right. So I didn't put it down yet. So this is all of our 2022-2024 in color um, Baker's Twine, which I think this parakeet party definitely can pass for Lemon Lolly when you need it to. So in this case, I needed it to. So that's what we're doing. So we're gonna just wrap this around. And I wonder, I feel like maybe I'm gonna be able to even just put this down. I may regret this, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just, hmm, wait a minute. Yeah, that's gonna come there. Why does this not seem right? Oh yeah, it's gotta go. <laughs> right, why, why, am I so con why am I so confused here? Yeah, there we go, okay. All right, so we're gonna put this right about there you guys what am i doing <laughs> okay i wrapped it oh i see it got it's going the back it's going back the wrong way i'm like i feel like it needs to be on the other end so i can tie it around there we go <laughs> okie dokie whoo that was that was really a lot of work huh okay so here we go we're gonna tie this bow right here okay Actually, that's not a bad way to do it after it's all said and done because it's a little funny, you know, when you're trying to work with it and it's like flopping around, but now it's right adhered down to the card base. So that worked out all right. There we go. We're going to trim that little guy there. We're going to add some adhesive on this one, our little thank you circle. Pop that onto our pool party stylish shapes circle. Okay, we're gonna peel off these little dimensionals and we're gonna pop, mm, let's see, there we go. We're gonna pop this guy right on, I think I kinda wanna screw him over a little bit, do him, I'm trying to make him kinda straight to that thank you, okay. Mm hmm and then we have this is the lemon lime twist designer series paper from our brights designer series paper packs so we're going to just punch a couple of those with this cute little i love um little flower punches like this petal park maybe um i think is the name of the punch um, but love using just little punches like that they just add you know just something fun and simple and cute and easy to your card, because I had originally done this and put the dots on, and then I thought, oh, it needs a little something else. And then I looked at my punches, and I was like, oh, there's that cute little flower punch. So we're gonna put one little flower there, and then another one we're gonna put right about there, okay? And then lastly, and of course, I probably put those little gems, did I, or are they buried? Nope, they're okay, shoo. Again, use some more lemon lolly. Little gems, we're gonna use actually the biggest one can go right on there. And then we're gonna do some medium sizes in the center of our flowers. Okay, and then what did I do? Like a, mm, I'm gonna do that one. And then one of the large ones right there too. And there we go, ladies. All right, so card number two is complete, the little thank you card. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed these cards. Again, featuring the Circle Sayings stamp set and the Sketched Plaid stamp set, right? So we've got both of the cards right here. Um, somewhere I have my little reminder. Okay, so again, 
Here's our host code for August, but you can start using it now, the UUXQTP2Y. You get these projects that I demonstrated right here. Your name goes in the Earthen Textures stamp set drawing. You get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the gems, plus you also get that sampler of the, and it's right over here, <laughs> the delightfully eclectic designer series paper. So we've got this fun. I'll give you a sample of this paper too. So, and again, doing that fundraiser for the Pardee Cancer Fund uh, in my mom's name and honor uh, and kind of in remembrance. I was going to say celebration, but it's definitely not a celebration, but in remembrance of her the 20th anniversary of her passing away. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I truly appreciate you hanging out with me and I truly appreciate your orders. And like I said, I'm hoping to make a big, big donation to the Cancer Fund um, in her name. So thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of July. Don't forget about bonus days too, $5 coupons with every $50 order. All right, thanks guys. Bye everybody.